loves, it's Lacey and welcome to our space. So today, as the title said, I am doing a Timu haul. I watch my girlfriend Cheryl over at Home Ridge Studio and my girlfriend Melissa over at All Things Crafty do Timu hauls on their channels. And so I decided I needed to jump on the Timu bandwagon. I actually saw Cheryl's stuff in person, so that's what made me want to do it. So I ended up getting this huge package and I spent about a hundred dollars. I know it's a lot of money, but I got a little carried away and I was talking to my husband and I was like, I ordered a lot from Timo, like a hundred dollars. And he was like, are you sure it's worth it? So help me prove, at least I hope prove to my husband that there is worth a hundred dollars and much more in this package. Let's see what I got. If you're not familiar with Timo, it is a online marketplace that has so many different items from different vendors in a ton of different categories like home decor or organization and storage things or clothing, jewelry, they have pet supplies, they have just so much stuff and they have craft supplies. I went looking for craft supplies, but I ended up getting things in like a kitchen organization, one of them for a craft supply actually, and craft supplies. Then I did some little home things, just a couple of them. And then I did some dollhouse miniature things because I will let you guys know about this in another video, but I am going to be doing a dollhouse channel, like a 12 inch dollhouse channel. So I did pick up some of the dollhouse miniatures and I have them over there. I'm going to be doing those last just in case you don't want to see that. So let's just jump in at what I did get. First of all, starting off with this. This is a silverware organizer and I saw it and fell in love with it because of the shape of it and how it's supposed to work. So like I said, it is in its regular packaging. So I am going to be taking that out. I'm going to try to save you guys. A little bit of noise. There you go. And it comes like this. Now they have this in several different um, formations. You can get just the silverware part, which is actually this part here by itself. They sell it by itself. I don't know how much it is by itself, but I will link each one of these items down in my description box down below and their prices. But I got the one that came with this extra part to it. So it will hook together like this because my drawer is wide enough to have the extra side. But I did not like how my silver was in the regular silverware slots. It took up all the room just for the silverware in the drawer that I use in my kitchen. Here's the inside of my kitchen drawer. As you can see, this is an expandable tray, but it only really has room for that. And then we put some of our like takeout extra packets in there. So I'm gonna be loud here for a second because I went and I got my some of my silverware and I have service for 12 because we have a lot of people over a lot of times and I always have service for 12 in my silver drawer. So I picked up 12 knives and then I also picked up nine spoons because the other ones were in the dishwasher, but they fit in just like this. I'm gonna put the rest of it in there in a little while and show you. And then I have this entire section left that clips on here to put other things in. I don't have to worry about it. We always struggle to get like my straws I like to keep in there, my metal straws, because we have like forever straws and things like that. So now I have a whole section for that. I have to say, I absolutely love this. Look at how much room I was able to get all of my silverware. There's a couple of pieces missing, but here, on the right side here, I have all of my large spoons, all of my small spoons. Some of these are missing there in the dishwasher. My large forks, my small forks, my knives. And then this one, I have a few like butter knives and a couple of small little just kind of paring knives there. 
I have infant spoons or little kid spoons because we have little ones that come over. And these are all my cocktail forks, all just in this area when just my silverware took up all of it. And then over here, I have ice cream spoons, really tall ones. They have fun flavors on them. I have my forever metal straws that were missing like one from there too. And then look, there's all the straws in there and the cleaners. And I have this cap over here to put like the little condiments that we had. I only cap these because the grandkids will lose their mind if they don't have sauce for their chicken nuggets. So then next for the kitchen section, I ended up getting these. And I actually bought these to use in my craft room, but they are a kitchen piece. It is two, oh, can I get them apart? They're kind of stuck together. Hold on. Ah, took me forever. So here they are. Here are the two of them and they go in the door of your refrigerator. I actually bought these to use in my craft room. I'm gonna put them at the end of my craft table because I'm always using things and then tossing the extra pieces that I don't need in a basket or something, but it's always in the way. So these are narrow and they go in your refrigerator door. So you could put things in it that would normally tip over like little small things. And I thought these were really cool. Then next, I bought this thing. Sorry about all the crinkling. I just wanted you guys to see too how the stuff came packaged or else I would have took it all out. It has a little handle on it. Oops. It has a little handle that you put on it. And this is to hold cans of like soda or water or juice whatever comes in a can to put in your refrigerator so i have a couple cans here and this is what it looks like so you can set them like this in your refrigerator vertically and you can use that vertical space that you have in your refrigerator and you could get several of these and put them next to each other I was gonna order several of these, but I wanted to make sure it was gonna work and it was gonna hold these cans. So I only, only, I only ordered one of them, but I am definitely going to get some more. You can also put them in like this and then stack them on top of each other if you have a lot, but I would put them with the handle coming out so then you can grab it. I bought this because my husband gets together with his friends a lot and we have a fridge for our beverages and stuff outside in our garage. And then they're always trying to finagle bringing drinks in, but you can bring four in at a time with these. So I'm just gonna stack the drinks in those and then they can get them out. Plus, So the next thing I ended up getting is for the kitchen also, these are refrigerator liners they said, or something like that. They show them lining your refrigerator, that's why I ended up getting them, but you could use them in your cabinets, you could use them in your drawers, or anywhere that you want to protect the surface. Um, my refrigerator um, shelves are really kind of slick and stuff, and things get knocked over in there too, so I ended up getting these because they have like little bubble wrap looking on them. I already opened this one, so you guys didn't have to listen to me open the packaging. And you get two in a pack, so I bought two separate packs of two. So I would have four of these, and they come in multiple colors. I just went with the clear or the transparent one. So I love these, and I hopefully will be using them in my refrigerator. Then uh, next for like kitchen gadgets, I bought these. These are straws. They came in this pack and I think you get 12 of them. I'm not sure. I'll put it across the screen for sure. They come with three of the little cleaning brushes. We use forever straws here in our house, like I said before. And then these are the ones that stay straight. They don't twist or anything, but they are a little flexible. 
and they have the stoppers on the end. I will get a close up of this. We have several drink containers that we use these for, but like once it's dirty, the straw is dirty and you have the clean glass, then if you can't find your little cleaner or you just want to put something else in it and go, I got these so we can just have clean straws all the time for those containers and we'll have a bunch of them. And they come in all of these cool colors. So yeah, three, six, nine, 12. Oh, so you get 15. I think this is a good value for these. Plus you get the little straw cleaners. And here are the 15 different color straws. I love them. So now we're going to move on to some just generalized home things. I bought this. This is a Kleenex or tissue, because Kleenex, I guess it's a brand anyway, tissue holder. And on the top of it, it has this little tray area and it has these little cubbies. And I bought this because I want to put it either on my nightstand or put it next to my sofa. Here's how the tissue holder is. I have my glasses up there remote. You can put pens and stuff in the back as you can see. This is my husband's phone because I'm filming on mine, but let me show you what else you can do. Where else you can put the phone? You can actually set a phone there behind this little stand. He has a very thick case, so it doesn't sit well. I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max and it actually fits in there with my case on, but I'm filming on it, so I can't exactly show you that. <laughs> Next, for home items, I bought this. I just saw it. It was one of the very first things I saw when I ended up on Timu. And hold on, I, it's, I gotta cut through the tape on it. And I think that will open. It is a sand art picture is what they call it. And you guys probably have seen these if you're on Timu. And I just had to have it, I don't know. As you can see, it's sand art. It's almost like um, hourglass, but it's in this circle and it's only this wide. And I just think it's so cool. <laughs> so, so cool. And it comes with this base and you just set it in the base and it does this and you can turn it over and you can play with it for sand art. I know my grandkids are gonna love it. They are not eight and nine right now and I know they're gonna play with it every time they come over. And I just love it, I think it's so cool. So I ended up getting one of these. Now I think someone said, I saw someone talking about these, that they have one that actually lights up but I just love this. I think it's really, really cool. And I'm going to probably put it in my family room. This is really cool. I, I love this sand art. Now it does have bubbles in it. And since I put it up now, it's been up for just a little while. The bubbles are getting bigger in sections. And I do believe they'll dissipate some, but they won't always go away. I'm not sure. The uh, instructions say that they are normal, and I love how it's making this landscape. So I think once all of the sand is down and the bubbles make it to the top, we'll see what they do, and I'll report back on that later. But I love it. So then next, I got one personal item or item that doesn't fit into the category of craft supplies or anything like that. I got a purse. And so let's open this. I needed a new handbag that was kind of like deep and I was like, well, let's try a Timo one. I know this was like $13, $14. So I will put the price across the screen. And it is a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but it's still big enough because I, I buy huge purses all the time. I stuff them full of way too much stuff. I don't need them to be that big. And so I've been trying to pare down to the size of the purses that I have. But I really like the coloring of this one. It's kind of got like a wine colored handle. It's got wine colored ties on the side. It's got a pocket here on this side. There is a pocket on the back. 
and a pocket on the front on this side as well. So, oh, I just closed it. I thought I, oh, oh no, I pulled them both at the same time. In the inside, it has a crossbody strap that you can put on your purse, and it has a little tassel and a little like keychain thing on it. It's a little cat. I'm probably gonna take the little cat off, but but they just hook on with these little links here. And for being such a cheap price for this purse, it's pretty cool. Here we go. Here's the whole purse. And then on the inside, it has a metal zipper section. And then it has a side zipper section. And there is, it's basically separated on the inside in two different pockets. I will try to get you some footage of it up close. It's cute. And for the price, it's all right. Like, it's more of a plasticky. Oh, and it does have feet on the bottom. So when you set it down, it won't be sitting exactly on the purse. It's a little squished from shipping, but I'm sure it will make itself right once I put stuff in it. I like it. I think it's cute. It's a nice little cheap purse for me to just take around day to day, especially if I'm going someplace that I need a crossbody. So it's cute. It is noisy with this on there, so I'll probably take that off. Oh, I do have one more kitchen thing, and I did not realize this was going to be this small. We're going to have to test this out for sure. This is a bag sealer, and it is tiny. It comes with little directions. Let's see if the directions are in more than one language. Yep, they're in English on this side, and oh, the whole thing's in English. So, it is a bag sealer and you have to put batteries in it so we'll test it out I'll show you exactly if it works or not and it is magnetic on the back so you could put it on your refrigerator or something I got this actually to seal my craft supplies so it is technically a kitchen item but I'm going to be able to seal back some of the bags that my craft supplies and stuff come in and I might use it in the kitchen for certain things as well I ended up getting a few craft supplies. So first of all, I saw these little mushrooms. They're um, little picks and I'm going to be doing a DIY coming up shortly that I wanted some little different mushrooms here and there. And so I ended up getting these and you get eight, 10, you get 10 in a pack. And I know these were 98 cents. That's why I went and I got these. And I think these will be really, really cute. Lighting's kind of bad on these, but they are true red. We'll see how they look when I actually upload this, but they look a deep red, but they're very bright. I bent a couple of them so you can see the top, but you get 10 for 98 cents. Then I ended up getting this. This is a liquid chrome marker. And it's supposed to look like mirror. We will test this out. I will put some footage in here of what that does. Um, I have not seen these for really cheap anywhere. So I ended up picking up one of these. Here's the liquid chrome pen. Liquid chrome. It's swatched on white paper. swatched on dark paper and the paper is a little messed up I think and on plastic 
Then uh, next, I ended up getting uh, this. Uh, this is Gold Leaf. I'm not even going to take it out of the packaging because I can see a little bit out of it. But it is Gold Leaf. And we I will show you it out of the packaging in a second um, with some footage. My friend Cheryl ended up getting this. And I wanted it so bad. So I ended up getting this for me too. I bought the exact same one and look at how much gold leaf you get. This is a ton. Now this is in flakes, of course. They do also have it in sheets if you're looking for something like that. And here is the gold leaf. I'm not gonna open it right now because I'm not in my craft room and I don't want to make a mess, but you get 10 grams and it's a fairly decent sized jar. Then next, I ended up, I'm going to have to open this to show you, getting these. These said that they were like lace, and I think they're just decals, because it's lace paper. So, when you open it, they are in, oh, ooh, I like this. I'm going to buy more of these. They're in this paper for protection, and you guys know I'm a butterfly freak. I always use a lot of butterflies. Look at that. It is lace paper. There's more than butterflies in here. On certain ones, they have a little more detail. Oh my gosh. These are gorgeous. Oh. I'll get a close-up of them. I will spread them out so everyone can see. Here are the paper lace butterflies and leaves. I'm in love with these. They are gorgeous. Definitely going to get some more of these. Then next, I ended up getting some stencils. Now, I can make my own stencils, but these stencils were super cheap. I wanted to check them out and see what they're like. My daughter does some crafting things too. And so um, she is a teacher and uh, for special needs. And she likes to make some pretty stuff and uh, she's always using stencils and things. This one comes with a junk ring so you can hook them all together. There's circles on the end, but you get quite a few of these. Like this one has birds and a butterfly, florals. Uh, this one has butterfly florals. I don't know if anybody else has hauled these. So we're just going to hold them up here quickly. I love them. They're really, oh, look, bees, bees, oh, dragonflies. Look at that bird. There is another bee, butterfly, oh, this dragonfly. Here is, oh, I'm stuck. These two are stuck together. This flower, this flower, sunflower, and this flower. Now these are just regular stencils that you would have to like tape down or hold down and stipple on. These do not seem to have any adhesive on the back. Nope. But they're pretty cool and they come with a jump ring so you can hang them up somewhere to get to them because they all have holes in these. Then I got another set of stencils. They're made out of the same material. It's like a heavy plastic. It's nothing like um, stencils that you would get from like uh, chalk couture or anything like that. It's not like, like those because I will show you with these because it's the same material. These are wildflowers. I really like it. And they're flexible, but I do believe they will break, like if you folded it in half. Here are all of the wildflower stencils. You get 12 of them all together. I absolutely love these. Look how cool they look on my stainless steel island. Oh my goodness, now I just thought, I was like, hey, we could do this with some metallic paint. How cool would that be? So I will put it in across the screen. Then next, 
I have a cutting machine. I have a Cricut. I have several Cricuts actually. And I used my Cricut machine to cut out some wood and it cut straight through my cutting mat. And so they had cutting mats. I decided I was gonna try these with my Cricut to see because they were so cheap for this. And my daughter has a Cricut too. And I figured if these are really, really good. I wanted to replace mine. Oh, and you get two. So I would give one to her and I would keep one. And they come with the protective coating on it. Seems really sturdy. They are very sticky. Look at this. Just now fell off. And probably because I have lotion on my hands. It's stuck to my hand. This is supposed to be a strong grip mat. It's a strong grip mat. And then lastly, for craft supplies, because I have so many craft things, but, and I have been looking at the website forever, because there's so many things that you can get, that I just stopped, because I was at $100. <laughs> I stopped um, looking at craft supplies, because I already had some other things in my, in my cart, too. I ended up getting these markers in these really pretty colors. So I can't tell you because this is in a foreign language. Um, is it in the right language on the back? Oh, yes. These are metallic colored pens and you get 10 of them in gold, silver, red, blue, bronze, green, purple, sea green, black, and white. So I ended up getting these. These are um, water-based markers. So let's see, do I have something I can show you this on? No, they look like this. And these are the colors on the caps. This is supposed to be pink, but it said red. Oh, there's one more in here. It's supposed to be red, but I, I think that looks more like a pink. It might be more red when you use it. We'll test it in a second. But you get 12 in all of these colors. Or I mean 10, not 12, 10, sorry. 10. Boom. Here are all of the metallic markers. I swatched the colors. You can't see the white at all. It is true white on this white paper. And this is what they look like. I really like, they're very saturated. And this was just like one swipe down, one swipe up on it. So very pigmented. And I'll let you guys know how they work. Okay, so our last category is miniatures. And when I say miniatures, I mean miniature doll furniture and doll accessories because I have been getting into miniatures thanks to my girlfriend, Mandy. She sent me in 2022 a Barbie that she customized to look like me. And here she is. She has on my wedding ring that's on this hand. She has on my thumb ring that's on this hand. Her nails are painted blue. Her toes are painted. She came in a purple top and some black leggings and some high heels because that's how I normally dress a lot. And she knows purple's my favorite color. She, when she sent this to me in 2022 for my birthday in March, she wanted me to start customizing like a space for her and seeing what I would do to make an adult Barbie room or house. And I never got around to it. So then in November, she sent me another gift for a rug for this Barbie and some handmade pillows she did herself in a throw. And so I said, okay, I'll give it a shot. And now I'm kind of hooked. So I bought stuff for the style. So here we go. Let's just take a look really quick. I'm actually not gonna just hold things up to the camera. 
we'll take the camera down and I'll show you up close because like I said, they're miniatures. Here is the first miniature that I picked up. They are tiny playing cards. Look at that. Here are the tiny playing cards. So you just pop them out and they come with two boxes because they're kind of thick. And so one deck fits in two. We have the white tab to the side and then two of the suits fit in one box there. And then the other two suits will fit in the other box. And it came with two little jokers. I picked up a tiny little coffee maker. Look at the handle on it and the little button as if it will light up. The pot is completely removable. And it opens. How adorable is that? I'm in love with this little thing because Barbie needs coffee in the morning. I also got this little set. It's like making eggs in the morning. I'm not sure, but it has the cutest little rolling pin and cutting board, a bottle of oil, and an egg that got cracked open and some that are already in a bowl. I love it. The tiniest utensil holder you'll ever see. Two little mugs and a pitcher. And I like that they have holes in the handle so your dolls can actually hold them. And this pack of little wine bottles, they have a couple of duplicates. I'm going to be sharing these with a couple of different people. But of course, they don't fit in the little wine holder I already have. <laughs> Tiny little books that actually have pages in them. Look at how cute that is for the bookshelf in the office or the library. A metal utensil holder where the utensils actually come off of the holder and they are completely metal. This is the only item that came poorly and it is a little Barbie laptop. Um, it is not very clean and it is it will not stay open by itself. Let me show you. So I have it sitting on that little plastic ice cube like thing and it was dirty on the inside too. And I have to prop it up for it to stay open. There's no painting on the keys or anything either. And I do think it's a little big for the Barbie dolls, but it will work. So I'm going to clean it up and I think I'm going to paint the whole thing, remove that sticker, and put my own sticker in there and decals on it. And I think I can make it work. But they do have other ones on the site in case you are looking for miniature laptops for a Barbie or a smaller doll. Like 1 12th scale or 1 6th scale. The tiniest little glasses of orange juice. Look at that. They're so cute. The straws are a little long, but I think it's just fishing wire, so I think I'm going to cut them down just a little bit. And then here is the last item, and I had to just show it to you in the bag. It is the smallest Ziploc bag I've ever seen in my entire life. And here it is. It is a 1 12th scale little tiny coffee or teacup with a spoon in purple. They have these in a ton of different colors and they sell out really, really quick. I tried to get the purple one two or three different times and it took the fourth time for them to have it in stock. Luckily, I wasn't ready to check out yet. And here are all of the little miniature pieces I picked up. I love all of them, even the little laptop that I have to work on is okay. So I will be purchasing more of these little things. So here's gonna be the final take on this. I'm asking my husband, what do you think of everything I got from Timu? I did spend a hundred dollars. So I did get a lot of craft supplies and stuff that you don't really care about. And I think they're in excellent condition. There was only one thing that I didn't like and I already told, like, I didn't even show it to you. It was a miniature thing. So what do you think? 
Yeah, I think it's great. I think it's fine. I mean, these things are pretty expensive at the store here, so as long as you get a good deal on it. Um, the little tissue thing's cool, so you can put that upstairs. What about the silverware thing? Oh, yeah, that's neat. That's an interesting take on it. You know, most silverware just sits flat in a drawer, but this one, it sits on an angle, so you get more optimization in here. It's cool. So there you have it. He even likes it. I think I might order some more things from Timu. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you asking me? Or are you asking your yes, friend? I'm I, asking you. I don't know if I have a choice in this matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to get a big orange box at my door or bag. <laughs> there you go. So. All right, friends, that's it for this team haul. And I want to know would you guys order some of the things that I got from Timu? I love this. I love the tissue holder. Actually, I love everything that I ended up purchasing. I'm going to be sharing some of them on my channel here for DIYs, especially the craft supplies. And then, like I said before, I'm probably going to be sharing over on my Instagram, Little Lacey's Doll Space, the miniature stuff. So you can follow me over there if you'd like to, or at Lacey's Space. So, yeah, that's a big thumbs up from us for Timu. Let me go look at the website and I will catch you guys in my next video.